sun flower lecithin, an emulsifier. Some say you can use it as a substitute for eggs. What if we use it to make scrambled eggs? Yes. Yes. We'll also try mixing it in with some real eggs. Uh, look how happy the eggs are. That they're just going to be happy little guys. You might even be able to call the result an omelet. This is honestly going to be more like scrambled eggs. Nonsense, really. But we're going to um, take three heaping teaspoons of sunflower less than an unmeasured quantity of water whisk it that just looks gross the other bowl it's dirty he knows what's up r.i.p little guy to this mixture we had some sunflower less than and we get to see what our egg substitute does to a real egg. Break up, guys. <laughs> this probably should have gone through like a sifter or something. It's very clumpy. <laughs> oh, that's kind of behaving like an egg already. It's almost like a, a meringue. It's still got some clumps in it. Meanwhile, our egg is not behaving like a meringue. We're going <laughs> to fry that in a pan. <laughs> We're gonna cook the just less than one first. Oh, that's a Babe, this is the breakfast of the future. I'm gonna replace both eggs and pancakes. We have some little bubbles forming. I don't know if this is gonna be like a thing you flip. Maybe you try to scramble it in the pan like like scrambled eggs. Yeah, that seems like the correct thing for the spirit of what we're trying to do today. I don't know how we'll know when it's done cooking. <laughs> Perhaps it will undergo some kind of change. Doesn't smell too bad. It's kind of foamy. I don't like the way it looks. Look at the way it absorbs itself when you stir it around in the pan. That's what I imagine, like, venom would be like in real life. I was thinking it's kind of like those uh, keyboard cleaning goose. <laughs> the kind you, like, put in, like, your car air conditioning vents to, like, get all the dust out. Yeah, because it picks up all the dust with itself. Oh, my gosh. Looks incredible. Looks like we can't wait to eat it. We can't wait at all on this thing. In all of its unseasoned glory. That's so odd tasting. It's sort of like an egg white, but it's also kind of like beef fat. I could almost see this working in a place you'd use a suet. Mrs. Hamburger is trying it. I'm trying it. I don't like it because it just feels like slime going down my throat. Uh, the aftertaste is a little bit like dirt. Mm, we gotta move on. <laughs> this still has a lot of clumps in it. Egg. Egg. So we're scrambling this. We picked up some aftermarks from the previous thing that was in the pan. Things are all looking uh, exactly as they're supposed to. That's righteous. <laughs> the good Lord is with us tonight. Are you sure about that? We're not here to answer those questions. Mind you, this hasn't been seasoned in any way. This is just eggs and lecithin cooked in avocado oil. Tastes as, as good as eggs are normally. The color though. Eggs should be like yellow. This is like they've got soy sauce in them. It looks kind of like chicken and yet you'll be like that doesn't taste like chicken. Mrs. Hamburger tries it. It's better than I thought it would because I love eggs. I mean it tastes like eggs. You get a little bit of the less thin flavor which is kind of like an earthy like kind of taste. It should taste kind of like sunflowers. Yeah like sunflower seeds but honestly I mean it's fine and it tastes just like crumbled eggs and I was expecting the less thin to make it bad. Oh, this is dope. Do you want some more? No, not really. Okay, cool. I'm gonna eat it all. Ba da 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 da. What does this get? I I didn't. No, no, we don't really think about it. Three and a half. This episode doesn't get any ratings. <laughs>